Hi, I'm Alexandrina and today I'm going to show you how you can create the CS50's finance app from week 9 of the Introduction to Computer Science course. I am going to split the video into 7 parts because there are 7 pages to create so that you can keep track of them more easily and you can uh, easily navigate between them. So we're going to start off with um, our registration page but before that let's just set up our project so this is the first thing we have to do and now as you can see we have our files in here so the next step we have to do is um, copy this command paste it in here and replace value with our own code our own api key which we can obtain from this website now i have already registered um, but you can do it it is very easy to do i'm not going to show that i'm just going to copy my token and paste it in here and now we can just do a flask run to open our app let me close this window and open this all right so this is our login page it has already been prepared for us we don't have to do anything here we can just start with our register page so i hope you have already read the understanding part i'm not going to go through it i'm just going to start implementing the register page so let's see what we have to do Require that the user inputs a username implemented as a text field whose name is username. Render an apology if the user's input is blank or the username already exists. Require that a user inputs a password implemented as a text field whose name is password and then that same password again implemented as a text field whose name is confirmation. So we have three text fields here, input fields. Render an apology if either input is blank or the passwords do not match. So we have a couple of if statements here. And submit the user's input via post to register. Insert the new user into users storing a hash of the user's password, not the password itself. This is important. Um, hash the user's input, uh, password with, with generate password hash. Odds are you want to create a new template, register HTML, that's quite similar to login. Yeah, it is indeed. And once the user is registered, you may enter automatically login, uh, either automatically login the user or bring the user to a page where they can log in themselves. Once you've implemented register correctly, you should be able to register for an account and login since login and logout already work. And you should be able to see your roles via SQLite or PHP Lite admin. All right, um, let's first add our template. So new file into template, which is going to be called register HTML. And I'm directly going to copy this template just because it's almost the same. But if you're not very confident in how you can use um, Flask in general and this uh, ginger syntax, I recommend that you try doing it manually. Um, but I have already done it a couple of times in different apps and problems, so I'm just going to copy that and replace login with register. Here we want to do register. The method is still going to be post because we don't want to see the password. Um, here we have username password and we need one more field for the confirmation I personally prefer having an empty row here just because I think it is more readable and here we'll have name confirmation and this will be the placeholder is going to be confirm password something like that okay and here we need to do register Okay, this is everything for this template basically. And now we can go to application pi and find our function, find our register function.
logout quote. There we go. This is register. Okay, so what is the first thing we have to do here? Well, we want to know if our method is get or post. If it is get, it means that we should just render our template in order to show our form. If our method is post, it means that we have already filled in the form and we want to send our data to the server. So let's do um, if request method equals post we want to do something for now I'm going to do pass and then we'll fill it in and else if it is if it is get we want to do render uh, sorry return we always want to return something render template uh, in this case this is register HTML all right now let me delete that and now let's see how we can implement the post method when we have post the first thing we would like to do let me close login now the first thing we would like to do is obtain the values of our input fields now how can we do that we can do username or it doesn't really matter what you are going to call this it is just a regular variable name but I like using descriptive names so username is going to equal request form get this is the way you can obtain the value of a particular field after submission so um, get username and then we do the same thing for the password And the confirmation notice that here inside of this we enter the name of the field so if here we have the name name equals username that's what we have to enter here but these variables are could be different they could be different you can enter whatever name you want they don't have to match this is the important one it has to be the same as the one in the template these here are not that important and now let's see render an apology if the user's input is blank or username okay so let's check if some of these fields are blank first so if not username because if, if there is no username it's going to return a false value so if not username we want to return apology now notice that this function has been given to us into here helpers pi you can see apology so um, now we just have to enter the message we want to uh, we want the user to see so uh, username is required or please enter username or whatever you prefer to write here and if we don't have a password if not password we want to again return come on return apology password is required and the last thing they could have missed is if not confirmation return apology please confirm or confirmation or password confirmation is required all right now let's see what else we have to do here if the passwords do not match we want to render an apology again okay so let's create another um, if statement because it is going to be a very long chain here that's why I prefer creating a new one but it, it doesn't really matter if the password is different from the confirmation we want to do the same thing again return apology passwords do not match okay there is one last thing here and of course if everything is correct and we have our info we want to we want to redirect return redirect to the main page of course we have some more things to do we want to insert the data into our database 
uh, so we'll have now do you remember how we can uh, insert date so by using db execute so db execute insert into and our table is users now you can see that here let me open a new terminal and do cd finance sqlite 3 finance db and now we can do schema to see our table so we have our table which is called called users let me make that bigger and inside of here we have ID, username, hash, cache, which is by default 10,000, and that's it. So in this case, we only need the username and the hash. Now, before actually, uh, be before inserting into users, we have to create our hash using this function, generate password hash. So let's do hash or token. It really doesn't matter what you're going to call it equals generate uh what was it i forgot it password hash i think let's check yeah generate password hash and inside of here as an argument we want to to enter our password that's it and now we have our hash which is going to this can this function is going to create our hash and now we can do db execute insert into users now in in this bracket we want to do um, username and hash. That's what we are going to insert because the ID is auto incrementing. We not we don't need to enter it manually, nor do we want to enter cash because it is by default ten thousand. So now we just want to do values. And here, what is recommended is that you use question marks because this way you prevent from. Um, some SQL injections and here after your whole command you can enter the values you want to come here so these are placeholders and the first one is going to be username and the second one is hash now if it's again these don't have to be the same these have to match um, like the keys that are in here but you don't if you have called this token instead of hash it is fine it is going to work so everything's fine all right so now the only thing which is left to do is um, render an apology if the user's input is, is blank we have done that or the username already exists now if you if you notice here we have create unique index username on users so the username has to be unique and if if we try to enter a username that has already been used this isn't going to work so what we can do here is we can use try accept in order to check if this username has already been registered so how can we do that it is very simple um, we have to do try this is the code we want to try doing and if this works if the first line of code here works fine, we want to redirect to the main page, the home page or the index page. But in case something goes wrong, in case our username has already been used, we can do accept. This is our exception. And we want to render an apology. Oh, sorry, ret return apology, which is going to be a username has already been registered good so let me go through that once more with the try accept block we want to try inserting our username and our hash into our database but if our username has already been registered then this is an exception and in we, instead of just registering one more person with the same username we want to return an apology which says sorry but that username has already been registered all right so that's all for this page let's now go here click on register and try um let let let's first try doing something and then leaving that empty to see if we're going to 
have an apology. Password is required. Good. Sounds good. Let's go back and try the opposite. One, two, three. One, two, three. I just want to try every case here. Username is required. Good. If we do something, one, two, three, and empty confirmation. Okay. And now the last thing we can try before actually creating a valid registration is to do something one two three and one two. It, what what if the passwords don't match? All right, passwords do not match. Seems like it works. And now let's make one valid registration. All right, and now let's try to log in. All right, so this is to do because we haven't implemented our index page yet, but everything works. We can log out and then log in again if we want. Um, let's do something, one, two, three. Okay, so everything's fine here. So this was everything for this page. It was a really easy one just because we have to obtain the values from the input fields, then validate them, and if everything's fine, insert the info into our database. If not, we just want to render some apologies. That's it. If you have any questions, you can always ask me in the comments or on any social media. I'm going to put links in the description, as well as the links to these pages, just so it is easier for you to navigate. And the next time we are going to implement the quote page.